Philadelphia has a sound of its own. Star 104.5. Hi. I just wanted to let you know that I started to listen to your radio station this past September. I think you're very nice people and you're very nice radio stations. But...
on the block with my boy Jordan K. What's up, what's up? And what I'm telling you is that Power 95 
has the only true facts and known ballistics about the new kids on the this block. This is true, this is true, they do. I'm kicking all the knowledge to you. Of course, there was those rumors going around about Alyssa Milano and the new kids. They said in Rolling Stone, that I only like girls 25 to 30, that's baloney. That's baloney. I love right, man. kids' fans. I do not go with Betty from Sweet Sensation, no, no, and, no, no. and I don't like Alyssa Milano, neither no does way. Joe, all right? They like, they respect her. Let's end that. What? But, what? We're going to end this Alyssa Milano. What are we going to end? Stuff. And then, of course, Donnie came by to hang out and do a little funky oh, yeah. Christmas rapping. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mr. Wahlberg, step up to the mic. This is Donnie Wahlberg. I'm Power 95. Telling you. Tell us what? Have a funky, funky Christmas yeah. and a merry new year. Full of cheer. Yeah. 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 We're feeling real good and we're feeling Woo. real nice on Power 95 tonight. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. The snow is falling. It was. The girls are calling. Always. Yes, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. We took you shopping with the posse to pick up Christmas presents Woo! for new kids on the block. Yeah, yeah. A different mall every single week. Every different new kid got a present from Power 95. Woo! That's right. So, of course, we got to play shopping with the posse. Well, me and the posse. Everybody was hanging tough live on Power 95. of July 21st, you know, right before they went on their European tour, we caught up with Joe, and we asked him if there's going to be any special things coming down at that July 21st show at Giant Stadium. Well, I'm not going to reveal any secrets, but uh, I mean, I'm just, you know, I, a show is a show to me, and I'm going to give, you know, we're all going to give 110%, like we always do. It's going to be special in that respect, and it's just, I believe it's, one of the greatest shows out there, so, I mean, everyone's going to, you know, have a good time, I know that. Of course, we didn't want to leave out our homeboy, Donnie Wahlberg, who's always pumped to come back to NYC. I love performing in New York, so I'm really excited about it, because just something happens when we come to New York that just, the intensity just blows me away, you know, and then sometimes famous people come see us, and that gets me excited. Miles Albert come and see us last time we were here. I'll be sure, in addition, he was great. I love when famous people come see us. He met Charles Barkley once. He was dope. <laughs> <laughs> we have more of the New Kids on the Block interview coming up, and they also talk to us about their brand new album, which will be in the stores June 5th. New single May 9th on Power 95 called Step by Step. More of the New Kids on the Block interview coming on Power 95. <laughs> I caught in the crowd, uh -huh. and uh, they had to dress up like hot dog vendors to get away, <laughs> and I asked Joe about it. I never said anything. <laughs> no, no, actually, oh, that was back um, when we were um, opening for Tiffany. Yeah, yeah, right. And uh, usually, you know, we just had one single out, so, and we were an opening act, and we would go, we would perform at amusement parks. Yeah, that's and, right. Uh, Red we would right. go out into the park while Tiffany was performing. Although Tiffany and, uh, opened for them. ride rides and play games and stuff. Well, we didn't get back in time this time. We were in Cincinnati, and the crowd was let out. And they just saw us. They, you know, they spotted us. <laughs> and, well, just a couple of us, Donnie and Jordan. Uh -huh. oh, that's and they were just surrounded. <laughs> I, I had a hood on, and everyone just passed me. And I was running with the crowd. I was like, hey, yeah, come on, get those new kids and stuff. And then Danny, Danny had glasses and a hat on, like a beach hat, so no one recognized him. And then after a while, they started to recognize me. What we had to do, two, like, ran, and then Jordan and I had to jump over a fence oh, God. and put on aprons and put on hats and everything <laughs> and we had to walk as like hot dog vendors yeah. to get backstage so it was kind of crazy. Speaking of the fans going crazy, we asked John Knight what it was like to be like with all the girls. Well, I guess I can't complain because, you know, <laughs> right. those are the people that are there supporting us and they're the people that made us who we are. Um, 
Hey, maybe that's one of them calling us on the phone right now. It is, it is. But you know, I don't know. It has its ups and downs, but for the most part, it's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, I'm bumming out right now thinking about girls jumping all over me. <laughs> we have more of the exclusive New Kids on the Block interview coming up on Power 95. You took six pretty much taking them over. In, in a way, that makes me feel bad, you know, because I wouldn't want a foreign group coming over to America and, you know, knocking us out of the top slot. So, I don't know, from what I've heard from CBS is, is they're mad, and I don't blame them, but I don't know. I guess life is life. That's sort of what we told that cop that day at the Hard Rock Cafe, Jojo. Remember that, man? <laughs> you remember that time? It's great. Um, and... You know, we, we had a lot to do with it. Usually, sometimes, you know, something like that, uh, you wouldn't really have a lot to do. But they, they were on the road with us and stuff, and hung around with us, and got our wardrobe. So, in that respect, we had a lot to do with it. Um, and I think, I just, I just... Stop playing with dolls, so I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> of course, they cut Donnie's hair off, too, and put it on the end of the doll. We want to thank everybody for listening tonight to our special New Kids on the Block interview. Woo! They'll be back in town. Remember, step-by-step, yeah. step, the single, May 9th. The album will be June 5th in stores everywhere. So get your 16 or 18 or however many bucks they're going to charge for this thing. <laughs> and we'll see you at Giant Stadium the 21st of July for the New Kids on the Block. Hey, uh, ah, yo! We're the New Kids on the Block. And this is Domino partying down and jamming off buns off, right? Yeah! Boy, it was back when it was great reminiscing, huh? Well, now I'm gonna record for you one of my happy moments when I was on the radio and I won those new kids tickets and I may sound so calm, but believe me, I was jumping up and down. Forget about it. When I got off the phone that night, I was shaking, I was so happy, I couldn't sleep. It was wonderful. <laughs> well, let's see what you think. Billy Vanilli doing the lip sync. AJ Hammer wrapping up the hometown party hour, getting that song off. Joe and the Newark boys, also Jesse in the Upper West Side Posse. Who's this? Um, this is Millie Vanilli. Millie Vanilli, finally at long last. Yeah. Thank you very much for calling. And where are you calling from? I'm calling from Brooklyn. Okay, so Millie Vanilli really lives in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Now, how are you going to prove to us that you are Millie Vanilli? I'll lip sync something to you. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Go ahead. That was great. Oh, you. you. know, I could see your lips moving, but I didn't hear a damn sound. <laughs> I'm going to send you to see the new kids on the block. Oh, thanks. What's your real name? Julia Petsy. Julia, you also got a couple of new kids dolls from Hasbro. Oh, thank you. Congratulations and enjoy the show. Oh, thanks. Who is your concert connection? WPRJ. I said enough thank yous that night. Forget about it. It could last me a lifetime. Forget about it. I was so nervous on the phone. I had to say it, like, three times before I actually got it right. But hey, I didn't care. I got the tickets. I got the Joe and the Donnie doll. I was so happy. Then my friend ended up giving me the Jordan Knight doll. I was even happier. <laughs> Forget about it. Now I'm going to record for you. See, this is a mixture of a lot of interviews because I had a Donnie interview, which I ended up erasing. And I recorded, like, the new kids. So. You're going to hear in between little things because this was at night and I was eating dinner and I, I didn't have a chance to record the whole thing. So, I just hope you like this. I hope you like the whole tape. And then let me know what you think, okay? Hi, right. right, Stacey, I'm back. Um, can you please send me the video to If You Go Away? Because I really, really want to see that so bad. I know you told me about watching out for people who charge me, so I will, thanks for the advice. Um, I guess here is the last and final of the um, audios that I have on tape. I know I don't have much, so, you know, hey, I hope, just hope you like it, and when I do get more, I'll be sure to send them to you, and I have to say, you're doing a great job with the fan club, so keep it up, it's really great. I love the way you organize the the contests and the articles and, and all that. I think they're absolutely wonderful. So, I am so terribly glad that we are friends and pals, because I think you are great. And that's it. I hope if you ever do come to New York, I hope we have the chance to actually meet and hang out for a while. I think that'll be actually really, really nice. 
because I think you're really nice. So, um, that's it. This is the last thing. I hope you like it. And right back soon. Bye. Oh, yeah, another thing. I really hope this sounds good because, you see, my radio has a mind of its own sometimes. One day it can be called good, one day it can be called really, really bad. And I'm talking bad. So I just hope this sounds good. <laughs> okay, bye. that um you have a different copy a different version of um if you go away i'd really like to hear that can you please send me that i really want to see how it sounds thanks bye entirely new meaning yes 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 also terry fox is here my name is domino we're gonna have john he's just gonna take care of all the rumors that everybody's been calling me about all the yeah, time because yeah. you know i'm trying to uh <laughs> like say hey i, I really don't know and uh, yeah i know naked pictures of them were together but hey i'm not sure about that but uh first off uh, let's talk about the happy birthday thing how did that come about for you um well actually maurice asked me if i wanted to do it and i really didn't want to do it and uh I don't know. I don't know how he talked me into it. I, I really don't like it, so... Well, I'll tell you right now, though, it's it's so famous already because every night, uh, obviously, somebody's going to have a birthday somewhere. Yeah. And if they're New Kids on the Block fans, and there are so many of them, so every night we're, like, saying, yeah, what song do you want to hear? Well, my friend, Gina, she's <laughs> 16 tonight. She's having a birthday. You have to play Happy Birthday by Jonathan. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's so neat how the, the fans nowadays, and this sort of goes with the new show that you guys are doing, uh -huh. they hook in. I mean, it's New Kids on the Block as a whole, but they always hook into who's singing the song immediately. You know, they yeah. always say, I want to hear something by, I want to hear this song by Don here, I want to hear this song by John, or I want to hear, you know, by, by Danny and Jordan together. We are talking about the rumors and stuff. We were yeah, I got to hear some of these rumors. Some okay, somebody's first off, let's get the first one out of the way. Yeah, um, ahead, is Joe actually seeing anybody from the Madonna dance troupe? Uh, no, although uh, we went to uh, Madonna's after party, and uh, one of her dancers, you know, she was a real nice person. She was, you know, just trying to be nice and make old enough to be home. old enough to be Joe's mom, of course. But uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I think Joe Joe has a crush on Madonna, anyhow. So. Oh, I bet he does. Uh, yeah. So what happened? Didn't the caterer who worked for who now to explain some of that for us? Yeah, well, our caterer we stole her from Madonna, and uh, so you know. Anything that has to do with Madonna, we're always there. Oh, of course. Well, plus, I would be there just to see Madonna's next bustier that she's yeah. hooking up, you know? <laughs> That's why we, we, now we know what old Joe likes. <laughs> Can you put that really pointed one on for me, Madonna? She, uh, one of her dancers, they wear the same things, and she hugged me, and I got stabbed by her. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> hurry, hurry, Jonathan Knight. We need a medic up here. Jonathan Knight has been stabbed by a boob. That would make the first front page a star. Okay, other, other one now. You guys are doing the big thing with McDonald's this summer. Yep. And I heard, now I don't know where this came from, I heard somewhere that somebody went to a McDonald's, didn't get exactly what they wanted to get, was having trouble, and jumped over the counter and cooked it themselves. Was it Donnie? Boy, Did... news travels fast. Yeah! yeah. Oh, that is true. Oh. Looks no, like you got it, a true it wasn't, one. It wasn't that um, he didn't get what he wanted. He, you know, I mean, we have this big thing with, Mado with McDonald's this summer, and, you know, he just wanted to see what it was like to work at McDonald's, so he just jumped over the counter. <laughs> Um, with, I don't even think the manager knew about it, and uh, he just went in the back and he started cooking hamburgers. What did he do, like a couple of quarter pounders yeah. and a double I cheese? <laughs> I Yo. think he just cooked for himself, so he probably had a lot. That's very cool. Well, I once, I hate to admit it, I had to actually work, uh, you know, in fast food, but I did McDonald's. They get down there. They, they don't mess around there. They say, you do it this way or you Don't you're feel bad. Out. I used to work there, too. So. Oh, yes. How about you, Terry Fox? Did yes, he ever I work at McDonald's? wear a hairnet. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, he still does. Anyway, let's go ahead, Jonathan. Let's play Happy Birthday right now. If anybody's having a birthday, why don't you wish him Happy Birthday tonight? We'll play the song. Happy Birthday. This is from me. This special guest, the one that you, of course, want to hear. Me and Terry will basically shut up. Jonathan Knight is here. And uh, the rumor mill continues. We have to talk about, well, I don't even want to talk about rumors for a second. I want to talk about the whole thing that went down at Saratoga. We were at the Lake Placid show. We got to see you guys open up. Uh -huh. And then, you know, at uh, Saratoga when uh, Donnie was, like, uh, taking the big swan dive. Yeah. You know, a girl made a song for him. It was really funny. Where instead of step by step, it was, watch your step. <laughs> Ooh, Donnie. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of crazy. Um... You know, it was weird because it happened on the last song and we were all out on the runways that we have in our right. stadium shows. And uh, he just, he jumped off these stairs that we have up on the stage and they're 15 feet taller than the stage. 
And he just hit the stage, and the whole stage collapsed, and he fell right through. Wow. And no, none of us knew what happened until after the show, we went back to the dressing room, and he was, like, bleeding and stuff. It, he got pretty pretty badly hurt. Well, I saw him, like, the next day, and he had the bruises on the neck and on the arm, and, yeah. of course, you know, it was like, hey, here, Donnie, show me your Swiss cheese tongue oh, right I now, know. you know, man? It got so you guys do have a different stuff. setup. Do you have a different stage set up for stadiums and then inside? Well, it's, it's the same stage. It's just for stadiums to get bigger. Oh, okay. Okay, let's give us a secret right now on how they do that at the beginning. We got five boxes, five boxes, oh, new yeah. kids on the block, yeah. and then all of a sudden there's nothing in the boxes, and then all of a sudden the lights hit, and boom, boom materialization. Magic. Oh, because it is a magic summer tour, ladies exactly. and gentlemen. <laughs> I do like the one part when Donnie's doing the old, uh, like, trapeze act while he's singing, uh, yeah. Stay With Me, Baby. Yeah. You got to you stay just with gave me, away baby. Good part of the show, but I mean, I want them to jump right now. You know, of course, they'll have to kill each other to get tickets because they're all sold out <laughs> a long time ago. But no, that's a great part of the show. I wonder, are they going to do that differently with the stadium? Because I saw it inside. No, we'll still have that. Oh, that's great. Well, I heard yeah. the stage was going to be like 114 feet or something like that, and it's uh, pretty big. Yeah. So you guys have to do heavy aerobics to be able to run all over that, huh? Yeah. Any surprises that we can like check out for the show tonight? Because we definitely want to, you know, tell anybody that might. A little, just a little secret. You don't have to give the whole thing away. Uh, well, I can tell you we have some uh, some other famous people coming out to the show. I'm not going to tell you too much about the show because it's... Okay, how about this? How about this? This is a good rumor. It's supposed to be a good secret. This is a good rumor that I just heard the other day. It was a little while ago. Is, uh, is Donnie's younger brother going to make a cameo appearance and sing anything tonight? Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch? No. no. Actually, I don't know if he's going to sing tonight. I think he's going to do a couple of our shows when we go back to Boston. What about Seiko? Is she going to be able to make it tonight? Is she uh, doing this one? I don't know. She's, I, I've heard she's going to be at one of the shows, too. I don't know if it's these ones or not. Well, actually, we heard that she signed up for like 20 shows for free. Do you know yeah. this, this? This woman is so rich. She sold so many <laughs> records over in Japan that she goes... 28 number ones. That's yeah. right. She goes, I don't even want to get paid. I just want it for exposure. Yeah. And that song is doing really well for us. Uh, the right combination is doing great. A lot of the fans around here, of course, were hoping that she was going to make the cameo appearance and do the little duet up there. Actually, Michael Jackson's coming to sing a duet with Jordan tonight. No. Yeah. No. Really? True. Michael Jackson? What? Michael Jackson. You're getting the man that was large <laughs> before they like, invented the word large, he you know? He's like hella large. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was flying Elizabeth Taylor somewhere at $40,000 a day or whatever it was. Remember, he was supposed to rent some chalet out so she would get better? Ah, that's pretty large. Wow. So are they going to do an old Jackson's tune, maybe? Um, I don't know. Michael didn't tell me yet. Oh! <laughs> John, Jonathan, I just wanted to say that I'm going to sing bad, I'm going to be bad. <laughs> Let's play another New Kids on the Block song. Which one do you like? Jonathan, your choice. Which one? one do I like? Yeah. Well, right. I guess I should say our new one since it, uh... What, tonight? Came out, yeah. My favorite song on the album, I must admit. You know, we were playing that like two months ago. Sorry. We sort of, <laughs> we sort of forced your record company. They were going, well, let's, uh, let's release, let's try it again next. That's a nice ballad. All the girls are getting into that. And it's like, all these radio stations are going, no, tonight, tonight. Attention. Point. Point. No, 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 no. We, we're actually checking out the uh, New Kids on the Block yeah. scrapbook that we were giving away on the radio, which is a pretty good deal, but we like to read these inside scoops about childhood dating uh, type of things. Yeah. It was, um, in sixth grade, we went to school, and we both had, like, a real serious crush on the same girl, but it wasn't. Have you seen girl. this girl since sixth grade? No. Uh-uh. Uh, what she looks no. like now. She yeah, really, man. She, she might be a wide-angle lens, though, too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, that's fine. I guess in sixth grade, it's not really called dating anyway. It's sort of called, hi, do you want to go roller skating tonight? Yes. <laughs> or carry your books home from well, school. Well, while we're on that subject, because we know a lot of the girlies like to know about the the, the inside about the that's females. Right. The you personal guys, life. The personal life, Jonathan. You guys have for, time for, uh, you know, a little no, uh, no. babe action on the side? No, no. <laughs> Come on, man. Tell us about Come those after parties Come after the concert. On. We don't have after parties. Actually, what we do after is uh, we all go back to the hotel and we right. eat dinner together. That's right. You guys eat That's the pizza. You can make, you can rag on us. Ladies, about that. ladies and gentlemen, the new kids on the block go back to the hotel in this wild fantasy life that they live, and they order a pizza from somewhere and they hang yeah, together, eat pizza together. That reminds me, something else that goes out. There's rumor out that you guys love having food fights in hotels. <laughs> Yeah, actually, we had one last night at 2 in the morning. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We love that type of thing. It was a picture throwing fight, too. I heard one that y'all, like, got some plates and threw them out the window or something one time. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe, how do you guys know this We stuff? find out, so I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what was funny up at Lake Placid. These guys do like teasing the girls, though, because here's, here was Donnie, you know, obviously he's, he was like 
third floor, right? He's third floor, fourth floor, whatever it was in Lake Placid. He walks out on the balcony. There's hundreds of girls down there. He's like, you know, has his towel out. He's like <laughs> hanging it over like he's going to throw it down. Everybody's feverishly clawing each other's eyes out to get closer so they might get it. Then he's like, you know, he takes off his shirt, does a little dance for everybody, has a little hat on. But uh, I, I, that's, that's cool, though, because they were digging it. I mean, the fans love it when you guys play with them, and I don't think there's a lot of acts out there anymore that even take the time, you know what I mean? They, yeah. They're so busy wrapped up in, in what they're doing that they forget that, oh, gee whiz, I do do this for a purpose, don't I? There, there's a few people out there that are listening to my records. Exactly. Um, the show, how long are you guys on stage about? About an hour and 50 minutes. And there's uh, the big finale. We can't say the finale. We won't say the finale. No, no. The finale is kicking, though. Yeah. And uh, just because uh, every different city gets to be a part of it, that's like the best part of the whole thing. Uh -huh. Um, but they do a lot of new songs from the new album. They do, uh, you know, they do a, like a medley of the old stuff. We got to get you out there all by yourself, though, for a while. No, not me. They do it with everybody. I mean, if you haven't seen the show yet, like Joe comes out for a little while and does some stuff by himself. Donnie does some stuff by himself. And uh, they like, like that, I guess, largeness of it. You like that, wow, this is a stadium and we're in a stadium and performing. But it's, it's a little, well, when you're... When you're in like a shed or, or like a venue yeah. that has like... A little less intimate to be in a stadium. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, that's you get to exactly see 70,000 70, screaming fans yeah. when they're at a stadium, but it's not like they're right. se they seem far away, and right. some of them are. Yeah, <laughs> some of them are very far away. Attention, you have the telescopic <laughs> seats up there. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it is, but it, it's cool. And we, we did uh, Cincinnati and we did Washington, two stadiums so far. So the, these... I'm excited, though. I'm, I'm, I think... We finally got used to the, the stadiums. And, and I got to see you guys in the first show up in Lake Placid. Yeah, and uh, that was crazy, wasn't well, it? Well, it was a crazy time. You know what the funniest thing about it, though, is when you look in the audience, there was, like, uh, kids there, obviously, but it seemed like every kid had to bring both their mom and dad. Yeah. It's like, yeah. don't we have a room we can stuff your parents in so the kids can get loose here, you know? Actually, they do. I guess they can make up their minds. Some, we, we do have some... It was so funny. I forget where we were. We, I think we were in Milwaukee or something, but... Uh, like in the 15th row, there must have been like, there was two like 50 year old ladies <laughs> with Danny Wood t-shirts on. No, no, it you're was kidding. so funny, man. We had a contest one night for the oldest New Kids on the Block fan right here. And we were running them up all night, you know, because these ladies were calling oh, us, you know, like 34. 16. No, no, no. <laughs> You want to know something really funny? Up in Connecticut, and there's a lot of them coming down for the show, the Connecticut girls that are New Kids fans seem to be just a little older, or they're just the ones that are getting through. Last night we gave away a bunch of tickets on the radio, and uh, we, from Connecticut it was like 22, 19. These are girls that you might want to see backstage later, but anyway. Um, <laughs> no, but when we did the oldest New Kids on the Block fan, we got all the way to a grandmother who got down, who, I mean, really, she could do the whole dance to the right stuff, and she was 72 years old. And so we, we gave her, I can't remember what we gave her. I think we gave her a pair of tickets to go to the show with her <laughs> granddaughter. What was that over there? What was that comment? She won't be back. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Not we, nice. got, we got Biscuit going after her. Hey, let's talk about that. Have you heard that? Have you heard the new song yet? Yeah. What do you think about that? Have you guys been playing it? No, all? we're getting ready to. No, oh. we're getting ready. We listened to it. We thought it was hysterical. It's great. This guy is so large, man. I know. I mean, very large. <laughs> and every time... <laughs> no, oh, yeah. But listen, every time I say that, I say, man... I always give him a hard time. I'll say, Biscuit, man, you're getting too big for us now, man. You're getting record deals and all this. You're too big for us. Why are you cracking on my weight, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> no, I heard, I heard that he's like not even in security anymore. That he's more like personal assistant or something like that. Because yeah. every time he goes somewhere, people start screaming and going yeah, crazy. Exactly. That's that gives us away that's what more I wanna, than we do. Uh, that's what I want to be. I want to be a security guard. Here, this guy just jumped into the whole thing. That's your next this step, Earl. Man. Earl. Earl. This we got we got new Earl and we got new Bubba. So get a get new used Bubba. To, yeah, Bubba. Bu Bubba can do the box and Earl will do the rap. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Earl. Yeah. I'm here to say I'm gonna do a little singing on PLJ. I got no. Never mind. I won't keep going. <laughs> okay. We got to play a song. We of course have to play. Where do I go from here? Uh -huh. Play it on the radio. Thanks, man. Let's play it. No, it's it's the coolest. The girls really are digging it and uh, PLJ. Bigs here and the girls dig it. Up the stadium. Where are you at, Holmes? Yo, man, I'm in the quiet room, man. What, what the quiet room? What's that? <laughs> well, that's the room where, you know, you put the parents when you want to get... Oh, good. Right. Well, we've had trouble over... Next on PLJ, the radio station that connects you with the stars. AJ Hammer on the radio.
on the telephone. It's time to say hello. Hello. Jordan. Hey, what's up? How you doing, man? All right. <sighs> How's New York treating you? Uh, so far, man. Four yeah. days into it, and I'm having a good time. I'm glad you're able to check in and welcome me. Yeah. Uh, so, of course, you're up in the cold, cold now. Oh, yeah. It's so it's warm free. here in New York for this time of year. How cold is it where you are in Alberta? Well, uh, it's been snowing for about two days. <laughs> and you just got off the uh, PLJ Magic Cruise, what, like last week? That's right. Yeah, oh, my God. But you uh, must be real relaxed now, right? Yeah, we needed it, too. Excellent. How was the cruise? Any highlights? Um, well, we landed in, uh, we landed in um, the Bahamas and... We did a surprise show for all the uh, all the people on the boat, so that was fun. They must have just been blown away. Yeah, it was fun. That's very cool. It's probably a lot more intimate than what you're used to, too. Yeah. Hey, I saw Marlene on TV, your mom today. Oh, really? What, what was she on? The Oprah show. Really? Yeah, they had all the moms on. Oh, boy. You mean she doesn't tell you this? You take such good care of her. <laughs> I knew they were doing something like that, but... uh. She didn't really reveal any dirt. Oh, that's good. You know, Oprah started this tease. She said, we will reveal which new kid sleeps with the bathroom light on or something. And they, they never really want to reveal that, or maybe I was out of the room at the uh, time. That's <laughs> not you, is it? No, that's definitely not. You don't have a nightlight, Jordan? No, no, no. Uh, okay, no. man. Also, a biscuit stopped by on Monday. He wanted to shout yo. Oh, cool. He says hello. So, uh, anyway, you got uh, your... You got your show going on right now up in Canada. You're going to be here in town in about three weeks. Yeah. You're going to be at the Nassau Coliseum. Can you give us any hints about what's going to happen? Uh, well, we're still kind of, you know, putting it together. It, it is a different like show, though. It is different from the last time you get through is what I'm hearing? Yeah, it's a little bit different. Uh-huh. Um, not too much different. It's, it's just like an extension on, on the summer tour, you know? Okay, so you're just uh, still working on some steps for that thing. Yeah. And then, of course, you're working your way home to wind things down by the end of the year. Yep, and we're going to be on pay-per-view. That's right, the PLJ uh, pay-per-view event that uh, we're going to actually have a bunch of people uh, who are going to be seeing that courtesy of us. Um, and that's out of the Providence uh, Providence Center, right? Yeah that, yeah, that should be cool. Providence Civic Center, I'm pretty sure. And then heading home to Worcester. That's right. All right, man. So are, are you psyched for the release of this new uh, remix album? Oh, yeah. It's, it's definitely slamming. It's real hip-hoppy. It, it comes from the street, really. And you guys really just did... Like it. You just did the video for games, right? Right. Which they totally remixed, totally different from the step-by-step -step version. Yeah, totally remixed, and the video is definitely hype. Was it a lot of fun? Where did you film it? Uh, we filmed it in Boston. We At home. We got to film a video in Boston. We always wanted to film a video in Boston. Isn't that amazing that you never have? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, because we wanted to do it so bad, but uh, it's just our schedule is so hectic, and to go back to Boston and do a video would be hard. So wherever we were, you know, at the time, we would film it there. Right. On the bus. On you know, the bus, oh, uh, yeah. Whatever's working. So, uh, but that'll be a real cool way for you to wind down the year, I think. Yeah. Another real good event you were just involved in, I know this must have been a tremendous experience uh, being over in Chile for Amnesty International. Yeah, that was, that was incredible. Any highlights you want to mention? Um, it, it was just, unbelievable i couldn't believe it um we went down there you know expecting you know a few fans it, it turns out the whole country is going crazy you know and uh we performed in front of about eighty thousand people wow they were just going bananas i guess they don't you know get to see many stars or you know have events like that too often in chile because it's like a suppressed country. Yeah, it's a, it's a real big thing when uh, they're able to pull something like that off. Right. And, okay. and to be a part of it, that just, you know, for, for people there, that is just a highlight of their entire lives. Yeah, it, it was something. So for you to have been a part of it, no doubt, was uh, a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, man. Why don't we come back in just a minute and uh, break a heart or something, grab a phone call. <laughs> so okay. hang, hang on one second, and we're going to be back with Jordan Knight on PLJ. AJ Hammer on the radio, just hanging out with my boy Jordan Knight on the telephone. Jordan? Hello, man. Are you there? Yeah. All right, man. So let's break a heart. What do you say? Okay. PLJ, who's this? Nancy. Nancy, where are you from? Brand. There's somebody on the phone who would like to say hello. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Jordan. How you doing? How are you? Sorry, that was my sister in the background. You have a question for Nancy? What? You have a question for Jordan yeah, Knight? Yeah, Jordan. 
I heard that you cut up your braid. Yeah, I did. Why? Um, I got sick of it. You got sick of it? Yeah, it was getting in the way in the shower. That's what I thought. I probably thought it was because the last thing probably pulled it on you. You probably got no. annoyed with that. I, I actually was real scared of that, of like a fan cutting it off or whatever, but I ended up doing it myself. You cut up your own? Oh. Yeah, I got it on videotape, though. <laughs> We'll probably sell it as a video. Hey, George, let, let me ask you something, man. When uh, when I used to have long hair, when I had a ponytail and I cut it off, people actually called me on the phones asking for it. Did you save it? Uh, yeah, my mother actually has it. It's going to be in a celebrity auction one day, right? Yeah, I don't know. My mother got a hold of it, and I don't know if anyone's going to get it now. Nancy, thanks for checking in. Okay. Bye, Nancy. TLJ, who's this? Rose. Where you from? Brooklyn. Would you like to say hello to Jordan Knight? He's there now? He's on the phone. Hello? Hi, how you doing? Who's this? Rose from Brooklyn. Rose from Brooklyn. Uh-huh. You got a question Brooklyn. for Jordan Rose? <coughs> yes? Go ahead. Oh, my sister says hi, first of all. Okay. And my sister, my twin sister, comment there. And I'm just wanting to know, what do you dream about? <laughs> <laughs> what do I dream about? Yeah. Um, I dream about everything. I mean, I, do you mean when I'm awake or when I'm sleeping? You can tell me both ways if you have the time. <laughs> I think, I, no, I dream, I dream just like everyone else dreams, you know, just dreams. Frogs and dishwashers and things. They are? Crazy truth, I have, I have a lot of crazy dreams. Yeah. Can you tell me just one if you have the time? Um, um, I, <laughs> Rose? It's kind of personal. Okay, I'm sorry. It's, that's okay. All right. Well, Rosie, I love you guys. You anyway. can bet that he's uh, he's dreaming about you and all the people that uh, right. that are uh, making it happen. I'm going to Brooklyn. Oh, okay. Thanks for calling, Rose. All right. Bye-bye. All right. So, Jordan. What's that? What's your plans after the first of the year, man? Um, we're going to do the Super Bowl, actually. That's right. Uh, That's Not a lot of people know that. You're going to be uh, doing halftime. That'll be a... That's right. You yeah, know, we're putting that together now. Talk about ratings. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be huge. All right, yeah, man. We're doing it with uh, Disney uh, uh, is producing it. Right. Yeah, so it, it should be real nice. Major choreographics uh, yeah. going on, choreography. And also, uh, we're going to hit the, the rest of the world uh, next year, early next year. Tickets are already going on sale. Say it again? Tickets are already going on sale. Yeah. For like April year. and stuff? Huh? For like April and later on in uh, 91? That's right. Jordan, hang on one second. We're going to be right back chat with you a few more minutes, okay? Okay. It's 95.5 PL. Your connection to the stars. The Hammer on the radio hanging out with Jordan Knight. Yo. Hanging out in Canada, getting ready to go on stage, going to do your show tonight, second of two. Yep. You have family in Canada, right? Right. My, my whole family's from Canada. I mean, uh, who are you, who are you uh, staying with? Are you staying instead of a hotel, hanging with your family? No, actually, we are staying in hotels because it's like my family lives halfway across the country where we are. So they're so, uh, are they flying in for the show? Um, no, we're gonna we're going to Toronto in a few days, I'm pretty sure, and, uh, <laughs> and we're gonna see them there. So. Toronto's a fun town. Yeah, it is. You ever go to uh, old Montreal? Yeah. Have any uh, favorite hangouts in uh, Canada? We don't get to hang out. Don't get to hang out. <laughs> well, you, you got to relax a little bit on the boat, so now I like it's, hanging uh, in New York. Though. It's back to work. Well, we'll be hanging with you as soon as you get in for the show. Cool. Three weeks away. Yeah. Want to grab another call? Sure. All right. It's PLJ, and who are you? Hi, I'm Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Where are you from? I'm from Denver, New Jersey. Say hello to Jordan Knight. Hi. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Nicole. What's up? Not much. <laughs> He's getting ready to go on stage. That's what's up. Oh. Yeah. All right. Um, should I ask my question here? Please do. All right. Um, what's your next song that you're going to release? The next song? Yeah. Uh, game. Game? Yeah, it's what remixed and... We have to let's try it again. Uh, let's try it again? Yeah. Well, that was already out. Oh. Our next one is game. Okay. They just did the video for it in Boston, as a matter right. of fact. Yeah, you did? Yes. Yeah, When's the uh, video going to be, uh first released on TV. Say it again? When's the video going to be released on TV? Uh, right now they're editing it, so um, probably two or three weeks. It cool. should be out on MTV and all, all the states. I, right. that, um, I heard that you did in a club in Boston. Yeah, that yeah we did it at a club. A club we usually go to. Yeah, I called. What's the name of it? Venus or something? 
Say it again. Venus. Is that the name Venus of Venus to Milo. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks a lot for calling. All right, can I ask another quick question? Real quick. Um, Jordan, I don't have any tickets to your concert. <laughs> Give me some, please. Maybe AJ could hook you up. Oh, oh it just so happens. I know I got some. Oh, oh, here's a pair. Here's a pair. You got a pair there. You're going. Oh, thank you. All right, hang on the phone. Thanks. Okay, bye bye. All right, we're going to be back with Jordan and I to wrap this baby up. Coming up next on PLJ. And hang out. PLJ, it's a hammer on the radio in New York City. And when I do something, I do it in a big way. They said, hey, if you're going to come to the Big Apple, can you bring some of your buddies along this week? That's why some of my best friends are checking in all week long. Like my boy Jordan. Yo. Getting pumped up for your show tonight, man? Yep. Feeling that's a Canadian chill. Uh -huh. Hey, I'll tell you something, man. The highlight of my career was appearing on page 13 of the July issue of 2D Fruity Magazine with you. All right. <laughs> well, I mean, I've, I've always wanted to be in a magazine called 2D Fruity. Fruity. What, what's your, do you have a favorite of all those teen magazines? Um, I do, but I, I, I would be foolish to say it You will the neglect radio, to say which. Because okay. I'd probably get a bunch of phone calls. I understand. Hey, are you pleased with the way the uh, dolls came out? Um... <laughs> Uh, they look good. Anything you would change about the Jordan?